FIFA 22 is an okay game. Listen, on this channel you have already seen I despise this game. If you've already been on this channel for a very long time, you know I hate on the game. But let me be honest with you. There's a lot of positives and a lot of negatives in this game. And I actually do look at the positives. So technically, that's what we are going to be doing today. We are going to review FIFA 22. Yes, if you want to stay tuned, you know, you can always. But if you don't want to stay tuned and you already found out the answer to your question on kicking this with Jerry, you can go. But don't forget to like and subscribe because you're going to be back. I know that. We're trying to get to uh, 50 likes. So technically, if you guys do like this video, please like and share with your other friends. So technically, you know, you know. Gameplay is an essential part to a game. If the gameplay is bad, who, who would buy the game? Like, who would actually technically play the game? I've seen many examples of this in other games. Mostly new ones, technically. I just don't understand what's wrong with the gameplay sometimes. The biggest example to me is FIFA 16. It had the worst gameplay. It had the worst career mode I've ever seen. You thought FIFA 20's career mode was bad? This is shit, bro. Oh, man, I just swear it again. Okay, at least they, sent, they will censor that. But this is a an example of a terrible, terrible gameplay. FIFA 22 on PS5. Yes, I'm going to be taking a look at PS5 and PS4. On PS5, it was actually really not that bad. I did tell you that it had some realism to an actual match. Yes, it did. But it had that elements of goofiness in the gameplay. Technically, the gameplay is still the worst. I can't lie. The things that we still want from the game still are not in it on ps4 on like fifa 22 on ps4 is just as worse like it's still the same shambolics that we see every time and i i, I can't lie that is good that is not good that is just not good i said fifa 21 was a had a good career mode i said a good career mode it wasn't a good game the gameplay, the gameplay to FIFA 21 and FIFA 22 still look and feel the same. Like, there's no changes at all to both games. Technically, in my opinion, I, I just, I really just don't know. I said they, they, had, they had a good career mode. They actually focused a lot of career mode, which I actually really liked. And also FIFA 22. But, we will get into that. Here we're talking about the gameplay. The gameplay is just shambolics. So in my opinion, I give the gameplay two stars. It does deserve some recognition for realism. But in my opinion, I, I just don't know. What what, what were they talking about? Hyper motion? Like, hyper my... Okay, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, But in my opinion, FIFA needs to work on the gameplay again. Yes, you do need to work on the gameplay they, they did add more animation in this gameplay and they had this gameplay actually had the biggest animation like in any fifa video game ever but still in my opinion they i don't even see them working hard with this game but uh, let me be honest let me be honest so in my opinion two stars for actually the gameplay. I'm sorry EA. I do love your games. And I'll continue still loving your games. But I need a good product. Technically. I know you're not going to get this right all the time. You are not going to get this right. You can't tell. Like even the fans out there know. That the gameplay is not going to be that good. Like any day. Technically it's been like this since FIFA. Whatever FIFA we were playing on. So technically, please, just don't hate on FIFA on the gameplay. But in my opinion, they need to work harder because they have they have new animations. They have new high tech. They're actually doing this on Frostbite. So technically, I give this 
eight two stars. They need to work harder. Okay. Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Career mode. Career mode, in my opinion, was not adjusted when it came to the manager role. So I'm going to be taking a look at player career. So technically, the player career has adjusted big time. In my opinion, I do not hate this. This is not as bad, but let me be honest with you. This is a step up. Technically, they did not care about player career. But I like this step where they take a look at manager career and then player career. And now we got even an effort create a club. In my opinion, player career has adjusted big time. Is it good? No. Okay, it's not perfect. It's, it's really not. But technically, it's a good step up. Some people might actually appreciate it. And actually, a lot of... YouTubers have actually been doing more player career than actually, you know, create a club, which makes so much sense because, let me be honest with you, this is not actually a bad player career. It's, I think, one of the most perfect player careers. Hey, let me be honest with you. There's a lot of player careers, and EA just does not care about, like, one of them. Even there's a lot of FIFA games which have play careers which are so bad. So let me be honest with you. So far, this is the best player career. This is actually the best player career I've ever seen in a while. Like, I just love the way that, like, everything works here. It feels like I'm actually a real football player when I play this game. And let me be honest with you. Player career is a very, very fun game to play it just has all the qualities that scream player career i just love the boost of morale for your player like literally this is what was added for manager career which the morale will drop if you don't comment on your you know your your, your player your, but technically this is what happens also and i just love this how this works man this player career something uh, that we need to take a look at. And it reminds me so much about NBA 2K22. Like literally the player career there is just amazing. Man. Something that is also need to be looked at. Something that is also need to be uh, adjusted. But still it's a perfect player career in my opinion. And technically this is the, you know, the same. You know, it matches up to the hype. In my opinion, this is some good adjustment, man. That is really some good adjustment. In my opinion, I give player career three and a half stars. It's not a good player career, but it's the it's actually the best out of every player career, okay? So technically, yes, I do actually enjoy player career. Finally, for the first time since FIFA 12 itself. Manager career. Let me be honest with you. The only thing that was added here was just, okay, it was just nothing, okay. Maybe, uh, create a club. It, this whole, um, manager career has not been changed since FIFA 21, which I'm not a big fan of, but I still can relate to because why not? It has my favorite features here. It, I can't lie. I really can't lie. FIFA 21's manager career was just a step up, but they were supposed to work on more fe more features for this whole mode, you know. And they did not actually technically. They just worked on create a club, which I can't lie, is actually the best feature on the game. I did say I was going to play create a club, I, but literally there is some... And I mean a lot of stuff that are missing from this FIFA 22 career mode. Mostly, I'm thinking they need to add sponsors. Something that everyone is suggesting right now. They need to add sponsors, okay? Sponsors. Good ones as well. It can be fake or I don't care. Just add the damn sponsors. It feels like EA just really does not know... How to do their job. And when it comes to staff. Add some. Like. Come on. How hard. And how tough. 
is it to add staff in this thing? Like literally. Yes, they still they do have the player growth system and actually the development system. But come on man, come on. Like the staff the the sponsors, things that are really needed in this whole thing, really and let me be honest with you, I just don't want them to only add sponsors, just normal sp- they need to make us feel like the sponsors are real. They can't just say, yes, this is our sponsor. We just put they just put um on our t-shirts and yes, you just sponsored by them. That that's no. We want memos of how how they want to decline our offers. You know, just make it feel like a real job. Come on, man. EA, is that hard to do? Literally, I have a lot of things to ask for manager career, and I will spend so so long on this video to talk about this and i did make a video on maybe 10 things that we would want in fifa 23 go check that out if the link is in the description but come on man you can't tell me it's hard to do this like how hard can it be it, it seems like fifa 20 fifa 23 might be the last fifa so just go with every feature that you actually did or added into the game i wouldn't mind that technically that would be a really legitimate um good reason to play the game but come on man i don't i don't want them to just add the sponsors we all good i want them to just show us the price tag everything that like even i wouldn't mind commercials as well commercials will do well i okay i have a lot of things to ask for fifa here and yes i will make a video of it i wouldn't mind commercials in this thing like how is your ads doing like literally there is a lot of um teams that add commercial into the you know the community and it's kind of nice i can't lie and i wouldn't mind like there's a lot of things i can ask for like i can ask for brand revenue i wouldn't mind to just see like how how like a billboard looks with our team's kit so like even the team's kit can sell i wouldn't mind that like literally on creative club that wouldn't mind me and technically i wouldn't mind to actually change my own team's kit every season which i literally can't do on like in every licensed team but technically, I can't do that in Creator Club, which actually bums me a lot. Come on, EA. Come on, EA. Add these features and people will be happy. Yeah, so in my opinion, I do give Manager Career a one star. Yes, I did. My God, I actually did that shot. The only good thing about this Manager Career is Creator Club. And that in Creator Club is okay. It's not as the best you know it still has the same features that you mostly see but in my opinion creator club is not very fun yes you might say oh jerry you play at premier league you actually started yes i yes i did not did i just say that that did not sound right but technically yes i actually technically played in division one so technically you can't you can't start i do enjoy the game but you can't start on me guys you can't start season mode is just a bum it's just a bum i can't lie they, they don't even work on this thing anymore what what am i supposed to be review, if, reviewing you in my opinion i don't even see season mode as a good mode anymore it's never in my opinion it has been a good mode ever since but after that they never worked on new or key new features on the whole season mode thing so technically i do have to give it a one star because why i don't know why i give it the same star it does not even deserve the star in my opinion i can say manager ma- uh, manager career is not as bad but they never worked on the key new features this is the same thing, but there's no features that it has been worked on, you know? So technically, season mode does get a hard pass from me. It is one star. Ultimate Team. In my opinion, I've actually played Ultimate Team. Yeah, um, that was a weird experience. In my opinion, Ultimate Team is not bad. In my opinion, Ultimate Team is not bad. In my opinion, Ultimate Team is not bad. 
sorry there i just i just crashed um technically i can't lie ultimate team is it's it's not my favorite in my opinion i don't look at ultimate team as a good feature and a good mode in my opinion just make a game for this whole mode and give us our fifa technically i do not really care if they don't give us a mode if they just give us a game mode game for ultimate team you know technically i wouldn't mind but technically it feels so awkward you know and why would ea do like they know ultimate team is making fifa 22 sell like i do i just don't know why i just don't know why they do that and how how does that feature sell i just don't know why i'm not saying that the feature does not sell but why is everyone buying the whole game for ultimate team really really ultimate team is not a bad feature it's actually one of the most popular features in like the game in game mode history but in my opinion ultimate team does deserve just maybe a break they always work on ultimate team like every time there's some new features on ultimate team which really suck by the way my opinion ultimate team also has become boring i used to watch ultimate team videos where case i was opening packs i don't even watch that anymore like because dude who like everyone is opening packs for some reason easily like literally viva draft fun draft is one of the i can't lie the key uh focal point of fifa and they do work on it so hard like pack opening is not even good anymore like literally it's become the worst thing on fifa's mind anymore these days so technically i do give it a four stars because technically it's a worked game and i can't just say because i hate the game i hate the mode I, I can just give it one stop because I hear it. It's just kind of a, you know, to everyone else out there, they kind of like it. <sighs> Practice arena. Oh, oh, dear Lord. Please, just, just tell me. What just, what is just happening? Practice arena has not been improved ever since, man. I did make a video of 10 things you, we want to see in FIFA 23. Practice a winner! Wasn't it? No, it was not actually. It was not on the list. I just searched now. But technically, Practice Arena was not worked. Skill Moves is actually the new Practice Arena now. I, I, I just figured that out because technically, you know, it's... I, I just don't know. Okay, I just don't know. Practice Arena has not been very good since uh FIFA 15. I have to say FIFA 15, right? FIFA 14. Because technically, FIFA just does not know the fun in fun, you know? In my opinion, I just have this issue with Practice Arena, man. Like, what is up with FIFA? Like, they don't even work on the practice arena anymore. So why is like, what? What so? <sighs> My opinion. I only maybe seen two or three people actually playing on the practice arena on YouTube, and that is before Lancer, one of the worst FIFA YouTubers I've ever seen. Let me be honest. His content is not all bad. Like, but literally, it's all challenges and stuff like that. Mostly he. He actually called himself a career mode content creator. Well, how do you call a career? How do you call yourself a career mode content creator when you just spend on mods, just making? I just don't know. Like really, the most awfulest content I've ever seen. Like literally, only kids watch them. And ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I I think I just only see before Lancer working on the practice room. Or maybe content creators who are actually showing the evolution of practice room. Let me be honest with you. That is kind of funny. Fun. But no work has been put in technically, you know, um, practice room. And I'm still depressed. I'm still di disappointed, man. Like, I always worked on the practice room. I really, like... My fondest memories of the practice arena was obviously FIFA 9. 
at that time i was the biggest practice winner like i i played more on the practice arena than the players i've actually put ronaldo in real madrid at that time and i think i was like playing for fifa 90 2017 i put roman i put ronaldo in real madrid and he like i was keep on playing with him at in real madrid in the practice arena come on man for this babies and fifa just does not care about your father's babies you suckers In my opinion I could not also make a you know a review on pro club because technically I did not play the whole thing because why I'm offline sometimes technically I I did play for but actually I can't play um, you know pro club because I'm actually technically offline when it comes to pro club in my opinion I do think that the features here they do not get worked for The soundtrack I will make a review on that but let me be honest with you my guy practice when it gets no stars yeah that that is just harsh you know they don't even work on the game actually and the last one is of course not pro club because I did not play the game actually and I and it actually looks very very terrible important you know and the soundtrack the soundtrack is terrible guys just 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 don't listen to it. the key Focal point of a sound it needs to feel good you know feel needs to feel magical something from FIFA 15 one of the best soundtracks of all time was of course FIFA 15 itself good lord even FIFA 14 was so good after FIFA 15 soundtracks has been terrible let me be honest FIFA 15 was the best and last um FIFA to have the best soundtrack FIFA 16 does have like I think average soundtracks and of course FIFA 17 literally what the heck FIFA 18 did have a good soundtrack maybe two or three good soundtracks FIFA 19 literally I only liked one soundtrack they and FIFA 20 I, I just don't listen to who cares okay who cares about FIFA 20 man 21 actually also has a average soundtrack i like if now fifa 22 just as the worst soundtrack i've ever heard literally nothing matches to the hype i just love the old soundtracks mostly fifa 10 remember gun, gold guns and girls remember that that was a good soundtrack and and just more and more man what, what is wrong with fifa technically And one day they would know they will know that technically this game would is not good like it's not good without ultimate team or pro club i just really don't know because i, I just I, you know i just don't my opinion i just really don't understand the soundtrack the soundtrack is just terrible good lord come on <laughs> but technically you know this is ea no effort is put into nothing with ea nothing I just think EA need to work harder. No, they don't even work harder. The EA, they got all the effing money because of microtransaction. Okay, and in my opinion, I am I am just trying to confess my not my hatred, but actually my just my I just despise it. I just just really despise. EA is a good company, but actually, when it comes to their games, they don't even put more effort into the games. And yes, I do have to give the soundtrack two stars. Let me be honest with that. I maybe liked only one soundtrack, and technically, I, in my opinion, I did not love it very much. Like it was good, but it does deserve two stars because why not? Soundtracks like you can't tell. Look, like, even FIFA Twenty Two will feel bad, like without the soundtrack. Like they only need the soundtrack and fight. In my opinion. It good. It put it puts you in the mode and in the you know spirit. Tuki does not even try on the soundtracks anymore. I do understand. It does take a lot of effort to get the soundtrack. You know, but come on, just work once, man. Yeah. And that is my video for today. Please, if you really new around here, please give us fifty likes, bro. We do want to get to that goal and of course if you guys do like this video like and subscribe please thank you very much for liking and subscribing guys i actually really have appreciated my past few weeks almost in my year it's 
started it actually started very well you know 24 um viewers were no 24 viewers actually subscribed to my channel that that that's fun that that looks so cool and yes i do have to say i do have to say i actually gonna post another video on my gaming channel and what i also want to say about that is i also have a skill a skill combinations video with ronaldo himself actually not cristiano I'm, I'm talking about al phenomenal the guy who got injured for almost like many times and i'm not gonna get through that story but technically i do have a skill combinations which was actually my previous video so i do i wouldn't appreciate it i would actually appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribe and actually watch that video it's it's tons of fun you know making skills combinations it did i did rush it because you can obviously say i did rush it but of course i only got over the last minute and kicked it yeah. i hope you actually do like and subscribe guys i'll see you in the next video